Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to see how to generate procedural skies using Bifrost and Arnold. We will be using Bruce Lee Cloud Tools, which is free, and I'll leave the link below. So you wanna start with a bounding box cube, go for a small scale as it's much faster to process. We will need a volume shader to connect to the clouds. Let's start with the cloud initial compound and connect the cube and the shader. Now it's basically a 3D noise that you can play with. The most important are the magnitudes that will grow or shrink the volume and also the frequency that is how many cloud shapes you want. You can add a directional light to get a preview of the render. So next we'll need a cloud advect to add a layer of detail on top. In this case I went for a higher frequency to have those small bits of clouds. At the end we can add another layer of cloud advect and play with the magnitude and frequency to get the desired look. Make sure you give it some volume ray depth so light can pass through the clouds. We will also need a camera set to spherical in the Arnold tab. It's a good idea to move the clouds container to the top hemisphere as we don't really need it at the bottom and it's not how it works in reality. So we will use a sun and sky light along with the clouds. This is very easy to set up. Just change the position of the sun and its size, sky tint and so on. I am also adding some denoiser and a lens effect imager to get that typical bloom around the sun. We can play with the seed to get a more pleasing result and also with other settings of the cloud compounds. Before doing a final render I want to increase the resolution by decreasing the render detail size. It may take a second or two to update though. And there we have the resulting HDRI, with a lot of details and that we can always easily edit and render higher resolutions. As you can see we have plenty of dynamic range too. So here I just have a chrome ball and we'll load the different variations of skies I created very quickly with this workflow. And we could possibly animate the clouds and the sun rising to simulate a time lapse. Ok, let me know if you enjoyed this video and I would love to see your results. See you next time, bye bye.